Now this video is about Thomas Aquinas proof for God's existence. It is his uh, third proof, fourth in the series of proofs of God's existence. Now this uh, um, proof which Aquinas gives is, is very appealing in the sense the presence of unnecessary entities, okay, the presence of unnecessary entities in this world, okay, that is the proof for God's existence. Now, this is very interesting to understand. The reason is, it's, we all tend to think that okay, this is the world. that is there in the world okay the kingdoms the, the the buildings and the and the and the education and the things like that okay uh, all that man has come about to invent and 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 has established is necessary that's what we think it is true it is necessary uh, we we know that we know that all the gadgets and all the things that are there in this world are necessary for our survival, they are necessary for our existence, they are uh, necessary uh, for uh, you know, prolonging our life. But when we move the scale of time, okay, and slowly when we move the scale, things that are once necessary become unnecessary. This is a universal fact which one must understand. As time goes on, as we move the scale, okay, things that are in the world that are necessary slowly become unnecessary. Okay? We all know about the about the about this instrument, you know. Okay? We heard music from this instrument. It was necessary somewhere back in time. But as we progressed, it became the gramophone player and this became the CD player. Okay? When you move this little bit, when you increase the time, the CD player is also not going to exist. It's going to be substituted with something else. Similarly, for human beings, about life itself, see, I am necessary in this world from 1980 to some, some time. You know, I, I may not live to even see the even see uh, 2100 I cannot I mean by 2100 I'm not necessary in this world so I'm taken away I, I die I die and I perish and therefore all things that are necessary will become unnecessary as time progresses now this is a fact that we all must understand and it is quite easy to observe when we just look back into the pages of history and what all man has done Man has come about to substitute the old things with the new and the old things have been discarded. So the presence of unnecessary entities is something that we can observe. Now, how does that prove God? Now, this is something, uh, again, Aquinas style of, uh, what I should say, you know, of uh, coming to a conclusion. If there are unnecessary entities, that have come about to place, they must be brought in by a necessary necessity. Okay? And once this necessity you know expires, then it becomes an unnecessary entity. Okay, this is what we understand. Now again there's a chain okay where the where there is one entity, entity which has always existed which does not derive its necessity from anything else it doesn't derive its necessity from anything else and that entity is what we call God now God is the entity is the entity which is what I should say 
he doesn't derive his existence from anything else, anything else. He is always necessary. He doesn't become unnecessary. He doesn't become expired. So there is no expiry date. There is no expiry date for God, but there is an expiry date for any necessary entity or unnecessary entity because every necessary entity is going to become an unnecessary thing because everything comes in this world with an, with an expiry date okay now God alone is the entity without an expiry date this is illustrated in this verses okay Psalm 93 verse 6 it says that only God okay only God is has meaning here is existence okay and man is very frail. His, glo his glory is like a grass. The greatest kings of the world have perished and their idols are gone. Okay? So, they just don't live forever. They all become unnecessary. Psalm 90 verse 2, it says that God is from everlasting to everlasting. His name, His word will be forever. And anything else as time progresses, as time progresses, will become unnecessary. So, the, the very presence of unnecessary things tells us that there is one necessary thing which is brought in all this and as time progresses every necessary thing has become unnecessary and there is just one necessary entity called God who brings about this massive change in the scale of time. So, we understand that unnecessary things you know, by themselves show that there is one timeless necessary thing that is there which is God.